The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Welcome to today's Craig Proctor System and Coaching Orientation Webinar with your host, James McDonald. Well, thank you very much, Andrew. And I'd like to start by welcoming and, and really congratulating everybody uh, for getting involved with the Craig Proctor System. And we're really happy to be helping you and, and guiding you through this process. Uh, and, you know, over the upcoming weeks and months and ultimately years, um, you know, you're really part of the Craig Proctor community and, and part of our, our family to help coach and guide you uh, through the implementation process. And all I wanted to do here on this orientation webinar was to further familiarize you with how we're going to go about helping you put in place and implement the system. And that's really what this is all about is, is we're some of some of the implementation we're actually going to do for you some of it you're going to do for yourself but we're going to guide you through the process and that's that's exactly what our uh what we've been doing for many many years all i'm going to do on this orientation is show you how we're going to go about doing that so we'll take the next say half an hour here and I will get into what I feel are the most important things that you need to know as a brand new uh, student of the system and how we're going to guide you, how we're going to coach you, and, uh, and so on and so forth. Now, we are logged on right now to the CraigProctorCoaching.com website. And when you log on to the CraigProctorCoaching.com website, as soon as you log in using your username and password or your email address. If uh, if you haven't done that yet, you can just enter your, your email address and then it'll allow you to set up a username and password. But when you do that, you're gonna notice on the home page of what we're gonna call the coaching website, you're gonna notice that there's all kinds of information here. And I wanna take you through that really briefly so that you know, uh, you know, in addition to doing some exploring, which I, uh, I would uh, suggest you do. Uh, I want to give you some direction as well. So you will notice here that at the very top right, it says first steps. When you click on first steps, not surprisingly, it is going to break down the very first things that you need to do. So I just want to go through them briefly, and then I'm going to take a little extra time with the steps that are of uh, a particular importance. So step number one is to complete your business profile. And if you'll recall at the conference, I talked to you about how important it was that as quickly as possible, you completed your business profile so that we had um, as much information about you, your marketplace, your business, your experience, the resources available, target markets, all of that information is uh, you are going to include in this business profile. Now, you may complete it all in one sitting and you may not. If you don't complete it all in one sitting, you're just gonna hit save progress. See that? Just click on the button, save progress, and then when you go back to it, everything that you'd included up to that point will still be there. And as soon as you've completed it, we will automatically receive that, and we'll be able to go through that information, and that's what is going to allow your coach on your very first consultation to create an action plan customized for you. So the business profile is going to go a long way in helping us determine that uh, original and initial action plan. Okay, now, step two, AMS, that's Automated Marketing Solutions, that's the hotline company. You are getting a hotline as a system member, so you need to set that up. Now, remember, it says less branded. All that means is that the hotline is a source where prospects can get information. We are going to run ads. Uh, particularly print ads that have a telephone number, a 1-800 telephone number that, that is, uh, allows the prospect to access 24-7 information through your hotline. That's what this is going to do for you. Now, they set these up for our, uh, for our Craig Proctor system members every day. So you call them, they'll get you up and running in a jiffy. Okay, now number three, everything that I've just said is identical with your success website. They're going to set up a less branded. Now, remember, less branded doesn't mean it isn't branded. It means it's less branded. The focus of the website is on the information, not on the realtor. Is there still information about the realtor? Yes. Is there still information about the broker? 
Bridge and uh, all of the particulars as it pertains to identifying yourself and disclosure. All of that is there, but we're not going to overly brand the website so that the prospect is not focused on the information, but rather focused on the salesperson. That's not something that we want, obviously. So you're going to call success website and you're going to get that set up and you can see that you can do that right here. Number four, what we're going to have you start to do is research some of your opportunities to advertise. All right. For example, you're going to uh, take a look at the free online classifieds. Craigslist might be a possibility in your marketplace. Kijiji Backpage. There are a lot of opportunities to run ads absolutely free in addition to the ads that might cost a little bit of money. Uh, which success website can help you with? Facebook, uh, Google Pay Per Click, etc. So we want you to research your opportunities as well as local newspapers. All right. Local newspapers and magazines are an opportunity. All we want you to do, we're not asking you to run any ads in them yet. We want you to do some research. What we want to know are all of the opportunities we have in terms of different mediums to advertise in. What are our opportunities? What are we looking at here? Do you have a local newspaper? Do you have a, uh, a real estate pullout section? Do you have a real estate magazine? Um, what websites are available? What, what, what are our options to advertise in? And let's have all of those gathered so that with your coach, you can determine which ones we're going to utilize to start with. All right, next is number five. And number five says select your target market. Now, Craig is going to help you with this, in fact, because on Friday, when we do our webinar, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to focus on determining your target market. Okay, we're going to look at a number of things, your primary aim, your strategic aim. There are things that are very important to look at to begin. But one of the things that you need to start considering is, are there geographical areas in your marketplace where, according to the MLS, clearly there is more activity and thus more opportunity than other geographical areas. So to help you do that, you are going to resource, resource the um, real estate statistics.com and you know that all of you are now able as a system member to set up an account to access the reality program and the reality program is what we can use to look at statistics in your marketplace and determine where should we be targeting what geographical areas what price ranges what demographics should we be targeting based on the findings from the reality program Number six, selecting your domain names. You need one domain name for your website and one domain name for each offer that you make within that website. So if you start off running five ads that offer five different things, what that means is you have one domain name that represents your website and then five domain names that represent each individual offer on the website. Each one of those individual domain names is going to be set up to point directly to the appropriate page on your website that offers that information. Um, okay, next step, we're moving along here. And obviously what I'm talking about here is not what you're going to implement over the next 24 hours. This is more like what we're going to be implementing over the next week or two or three. All right, so bear that in mind. There's a time a curve that goes along with this that... I'm just assuming is automatically built in and that you understand that. That's why you're working with your coach. Uh, number seven is to actually run the ads. You're, you know, obviously we want to work, we want you to work with your coach first before you run the ad, at very least so they can take a look at what you're doing and make sure that it is appropriate. All right, so that's um, number seven. Number eight, pull off your leads. Uh, from the website and the hotline every single day um, if it, it says if volume dictates two or three times per day in other words uh, what we're saying here in number eight is that when you run ads prospects have access to the information you're offering 24 hours a day seven days a week so if you're generating or when you are generating a meaningful number of leads throughout the day it is important that you pull off the leads to follow up them more than just once a day. The more leads you generate, the more frequently 
you're going to have to pull off the leads from the hotline or the website. Now, by the way, they're going to show up right in your email inbox. But it's important that we, we go through that process several times a day so that we can stay on top of the leads and make sure that we're following up quickly and um, effectively in a timely manner with all of those prospects. Number nine, you're going to enter those prospects into a contact management system database. If you do are not using a contact management system, you certainly need one, and there are a number of them that you can use. We just care that you use a contact management system. If you are not organized, business is going to fall through the cracks. It costs you tens, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars, very quickly. So, uh, Wise Agent Solutions is a great company. You might want to look at them. It's very, very inexpensive, but they do a great job, and it's all accessible online. It's called Wise Agent, W-I-S-E, and they have a great contact management system that they've designed that we really do recommend. So you can look into that, but I think for most of you, you already are using a contact management system. We recommend you keep using it and that you, it's not necessary to switch. Number 10. You're actually going to call these prospects. And uh, you'll recall at the super conference, we discussed the universal callback script. As a matter of fact, we more than discussed it. What we did was we broke it down into parts and we taught you how and why each part does what it does. Very quickly, you, you don't know this right now, but you're going to become an expert at this universal callback script. You are going to become a full out expert using this universal script. Again, there's a learning curve involved and some of you will get there more quickly than others, but all of you are going to get there. And as soon as you do, you're going to notice that lead conversion isn't as difficult as it used to be because the lead generation aspect involves you essentially hitting the repeat button and doing the same thing over and over again Lead conversion requires a tremendous amount of skill. So that's what we will work on as far as, uh, as, far as lead follow-up is concerned. Let me make this suggestion to everybody, though. What you will find out is that the quicker you're able to call the prospect back and the better you're able to use the universal callback script, the more appointments you will book. It is no more complicated than that. If you wait a week to call back the leads, you'll find that you won't book as many appointments. If you call back the leads and you just kind of have a conversation, you wing it, uh, you're going to find you're not going to book very many appointments. We want you booking appointments. That's why we do it this way. So use the universal script, master it, and you will begin to see this take form and everything coming to fruition. We are now on number 12 which is attend a listing and buyer appointment and make your presentations using the ultimate listing presentation and VIP buyer presentation. All right, you have a presentation now, not just a listing presentation, but you also have maybe even more importantly, a buyer presentation. The overwhelming majority of the buyers that you attract will not be working with an agent. They're not working with another agent. They've signed nothing with another realtor. The reason that's important is because it means that every buyer that you generate potentially could be signed to a buyer agency contract. They're not signed with one now, then that means they're fair game and you could procure them as a client. So we want to make sure that we go through this process and we do this. Uh, number 13 and finally, we are going to make uh, make follow-up calls on the scheduled day and proceed accordingly. Follow up until buyer or listing appointment is booked or the prospect becomes a dead end. Um, here's, here's the idea. We are not going to call a prospect back once, leave a voicemail message, say balls in your court, and then never call them back again. You will not do any business if that's the way you follow up with these prospects. I will tell you that some of you are going to discover that you convert appointments maybe the fourth time you talk to them or call them. Sometimes you might not even reach a prospect until you've called them 10 times. It happens. We're not suggesting that you spend months and months and hours and hours calling the same person over and over again, but you do need to try them diligently at different times of the day 
calling from different phone numbers, trying them over and over again. And what you'll find is it, this pays dividends. It really does. And so I can't encourage you enough to do that. Okay, now that's it as far as the first steps are concerned. There are a couple of other things that I want to explain to all of you um, that are really important in, in moving forward. Okay, the first is this. Every week we do uh, webinars. We do several webinars throughout the week. Now, let me break them down very simply. Every single one of our webinars, we always conduct them 100% live. The reason they must be live is so that we can interact. And if they're not live, you cannot ask a question. You cannot role play with us. We can't ask you questions. So every webinar we do is live. Now, having said that, you are not always going to be available to be on a live webinar. So what do we do in that case? Well, first of all, you're going to schedule yourself so that you will be on the webinars live most of the time. But on the occasion where you're unable to do it, we're going to send you a link and you can watch the webinar anytime you want to. In other words, we'll record it so that you can watch it at your convenience. Okay, now let me go through the different webinars we conduct. Webinar number one, every Monday morning at 11 a.m. Eastern time, we conduct our health log session. This is an open forum Q&A session where we can discuss anything you want. We say, what's our next topic or question? And whatever you put in there is what we're going to talk about and discuss. The sky's the limit. Anything you want to talk about, any question you have, every Monday morning from 11 till noon, we're going to conduct that webinar. If you miss it, we'll send you a link and you can watch the webinar at your convenience after it's finished. Every Thursday at 11 a.m. Eastern time, we do a role play session. And I know that we talked to you about this at the super conference. Yes, we will have students who have been involved in the system for many, many years in some cases on those on those Thursday webinars, honing their skills of lead conversion using the universal callback script. And you are going to do exactly what they're doing. Follow their, uh, follow what they do and you'll get what they get. So um, that is every Thursday at 11 a.m. Eastern time. Every Friday at 11 a.m. Eastern time, you're going to log on the webinar and we're going to do an ad clinic session. All right. Now this, this is a marketing session. Here's how it works. You are going to upload your ads and we're going to look at them and we're going to critique them. And you get to see everybody else's ad and our critique of their ad as well as critiquing your own ad. So this is really valuable. You get to see what everybody else is doing, what ads they're running, which are good, which are not good. That will help you decide what you're going to do moving forward. And everyone else is going to see what you're doing, and that is going to help them moving forward. So when you go to the ad clinic uh, file, you'll notice here there's a button that says under resources, says ad, ad clinic. When you click on it, it says uh, upload file, and you're just going to follow the instructions. You can upload any, any uh, file that you have on your computer. If you're running an ad, take a screenshot of the ad if it's online, uh, or take a, a a picture of your ad using your phone if it's print, and then just uh, save the ad as a file, and from there, you can upload it very easily to the website. And if you have any problems, uh, usually if you uh, send us an email, we can take care of it. Send us the ad by email, and we can upload it for you so that we can take a look at it. My email address, by the way, is james at craigproctor.com, james at craigproctor.com. All right, so that's it as far as the ad clinic. Now, there is one other call that we're going to do depending, but it's your coaching call with Craig. And so the, the specific coaching call, the time is going to vary. You know that this coming Friday, July the 1st at 9 a.m. is our very first coaching webinar with Craig Proctor. So Friday morning, 9 a.m., you're going to log into the webinar. You're going to get an email with all the instructions. All you have to do is click and boom, you're on the webinar and you're live and we can talk to you and you can talk to us and you can ask questions. And that's going to be on Friday. Um, as I said, Friday morning at 9 a.m. Eastern time. Okay. Now the other and final thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about is your coach. And I know I did touch it on this uh, at the seminar, but it's really important that you understand that 
The coaches are incredibly qualified to coach you. The coaches, generally speaking, make a million dollars a year selling real estate. And if they don't make a million dollars, they make damn close to it. And they're not only qualified because of their massive success implementing the system, they're also coaches because they've proven that they're really good at coaching others to also be outstanding with the system. That's what makes them a great coach. So I tell you that because you need to know that the consultations that you're having with your coach, you are having them with somebody that is worth hundreds, if not thousands of dollars an hour. Now, I just want you to imagine that. You're going to get on the phone and you are going to spend half an hour, 40 minutes with somebody who's worth a thousand dollars an hour. And they're focusing 100% of their energy and brain power on you and your business. That clearly is a, an extremely valuable feature of this system and of the training that we include in the system. So I say that because having somebody who's worth a thousand dollars an hour coach you isn't cheap, but it's well worth it. And there is no other way to go. If you were to hire a $5 coach, you'd be getting a $5 coach with $5 advice. We don't want that. We want a coach that is worth a whole lot of money because they're really, really good at what they do. So you're going to be assigned a coach and you'll notice here that um, you'll have full access to your coach's contact information. And they, of course, will have full access to your contact information and you're going to be able to reach out to your coach at any point in time, regardless of whether you have a consultation coming up. Anytime you have a question, email your coach, give them a quick call. Your coach will be more than happy to take five minutes and answer a quick question or two that you might have, um, you know, without it, it sucking up so much of their day that it's to the detriment of their success selling, uh, you know, selling homes using the system. Obviously, we're going to find that fine line where you get tons and tons of help that you need, um, while at the same time making sure that the coach is still very successful. Otherwise, you wouldn't be interested in what they had to say in the first place. So I really wanted to take you through those few things. Now, before we do wrap it up for the orientation session here, let me also suggest that everybody take some time to explore the website. When you do that, you're going to be blown away by all of the information that you'll find here. It is loaded with examples that other students have uploaded, as well as, of course, all of Craig Proctor's created and contented materials as well. But take some time, explore the marketing library, explore the website as a whole, return back to the first steps and bang them out one at a time. You're going to take out those first steps. And if you do that, you'll be moving along and progressing absolutely beautifully as well as anybody of our top producing uh, students have done in the past. So remember this, first step, what do I do right now? Fill out the business profile. Do that and do it as quickly as you can. The sooner you've got the business profile done, the sooner you can talk to your coach and the sooner your coach will create an action plan to make sure you're moving forward in the right direction doing this properly. So having said that, I think we've covered quite a lot here and I know some of this is redundant because I did speak of it at the super conference, but I wanted to talk about those logistical items just so that you had a clear understanding in your head of how this was going to work. Um, if anybody has any additional questions, email me. It's james at craigproctor.com. James at C-R-A-I-G P-R-O-C-T-O-R and I'd be more than happy to take and field any questions uh, or anything additionally that you think might be helpful for you as well. So I wanna thank you all very much. And again, I wanna congratulate you. Um, this is a big undertaking for you and I get it's a big decision, but a very, very well done decision. Um, and as I said, we've been doing this a long, long time. So we are brimming with confidence that we know where this is gonna take you. And that's pretty exciting to us. I also wanna thank Andrea, our operator here, who really manages all of these calls. And um, you don't know this right now, but you're gonna to get to know Andrea, uh, Andrea really, really well. Um, Andrea does a tremendous job and can help you with the system uh, with many of your questions, whether they're technically about the system or you gathering information that you need from various webinars, et cetera. Andrea is a really great resource to have for that. 
so and you'll you'll see that as we move along through the uh, through the program. So um, yeah, we'll we'll be constantly thanking Andrea for all of her help. Having said that, we're looking forward to your participation this coming Friday. So that's tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Eastern time for our very first coaching webinar with the man, Mr. Craig Proctor himself. So um, you can look forward to that. Don't be late. And we're going to be live taking all of your questions um, and uh, getting you set on the right course. So thank you so much, everybody, for joining us again. Thank you and congratulations. Andrea, thank you so much for your help on our little orientation webinar here today as well. Thank you, James. Thank you, everyone, for joining. Have a wonderful afternoon. We'll talk to you all tomorrow morning.